and injuries has been something that you've been very honest about, you know, battling through injuries throughout all this. It feels like that's really the only thing that could be the thing that holds you back. So, I mean, what are those things? SPD, you're big on the cryotherapy, and he always tries to get me to do these cold showers things. Yeah, I do cold about. showers every day. Do you, what, do, what do you do, Wardle? You do anything crazy you like psycho, that? You psycho. <laughs> you psychopath. Yeah. Yeah, look at you. Yeah, the hair and the glasses, it makes sense. Yep. See? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Full uh, showers every single morning gets you going, so, man. Oh Try them. No, I know. I've heard about it. Cold in the morning, <laughs> hot at night, but no, nah, man. Fuck that. <laughs> um, so this kind of goes back to my statement about give me that championship, you know, because even if I do get injured, I'm fucking still going. Yeah, I yeah. have. I don't know. I'd be interested to go through the roster truly and pick out how many people have been there day one or at least within that first year that have since then never taken a day off or time off for anything. That's a good point. In injury or not, um, I had to take one week off, had to because I didn't test positive for COVID. I uh, actually tested negative, but I was around somebody that tested positive, so they wouldn't let me come to TV one week. That's the only time. Wow. I've, never asked, I've never asked for a day off. I've never taken time off. Um, so, but that's not to say I haven't experienced injuries. Hmm. Right. I, uh, I wrestled blood and guts with a completely torn calf and uh, got yelled at by Doc afterwards because it was so bad that he said, like, it was very close to me having to be cut open. Oh, and, my like, gosh. Would have been, like, a huge recovery. Uh, Imagine he, that match, too, of all matches, <laughs> Wardlow to be wrestling. I mean, like, that's a well, violent, physical, crazy dude, match. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so it sucks because it's like you, you think – what could have been a little bit like if I could have been full blown me in that yeah. match, it's right. kind of scary to think, but <laughs> I, um, you know, I tried to play it as safe as possible, which if you look back, it really wasn't too safe, but <laughs> no one would have known. Um, I'll say that. Yeah. Uh, but here's the thing, man, blood and guts, that was huge. The first blood and guts, yeah, in AEW, yeah. You're right. right? There was no chance in hell I was missing that. <laughs> so I was actually doing. So here's the thing. I don't think I, I don't know if I ever talked about this. So I was doing sprints, um, in the gym, and I was preparing for blood and guts. I was like, I just want to be. I, I'm like, I know this match is going to go on mm -hmm. for yep. a while. Like, I want yep. my cardio to be nasty. So I'm doing sprints in the gym, and I'm literally thinking about shit I'm going to do to people in that cage. I'm like, I'm going to fuck shit up when I yeah. enter that cage. And so I'm, so I'm thinking about this in between the sprints to amp me up. And I thought about just what I'm going to do to somebody. And it got me so amped. I took off for the sprint. And as soon as I took off, I think my second stride, I just, it, it felt and sounded like a gunshot went off in the gym. Oh, wow. And I just hear, and I was like, what the fuck was that? And like, I stopped dead in my tracks. And I was like, oh shit. And I was like, my yeah. first, and my initial thought was it was my Achilles tendon. Yeah. Oh. And I was like, I'm fucked. <laughs> that's my, that's my yeah. Achilles tendon. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, uh, and I look back, and I'm like, uh, and like I can move just enough to know it wasn't that, like, because you're down and out if it's your Achilles, mm -hmm. right? But it was still really bad, and it was it started to turn black and blue right away, and that's when mm. I knew I was like, oh shit, this is bad. Jeez. So it was like swelling and black and blue instantly. So I knew it was bad, and normally I would call Doc right away if. if if I have an issue, uh, I don't know. It's kind of a well-known thing that I have a great relationship with Doc. Sam Call him your son. My, yeah. yeah. I'm his son. He's my You're dad. You're his son. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. Work, work son, work dad. Yeah. Uh, 
you know, we have a great relationship and the other trainers, all the other doctors in Bryce, uh, he is my trainer. So, um, normally I'd call one of them and be like, Hey, uh, what, what, what do we do? But I was like, I feel like this is bad enough to where if I show them, they're not going to let me wrestle. Yeah. If it's all black and blue like that. So old school mentality. (laughs) But, but I was like, my cardio is going to be absolute dog shit now because it was like a week before it was a week before and yeah. through throughout wow. the throughout the week my leg got so disgusting <laughs> black and blue in large oh and, my god and the fucked up thing is like i didn't know what to do and i couldn't call my you know i couldn't call them to be like hey do i do the ice it heat it wrap it not wrap it elevate yeah. You're doing so well I'm just, so, bro. I'm I'm googling shit. And yeah. like, oh, I'm I'm reading the worst stuff. I'm like, oh man. So, um, so by the time the match happened, it was in really bad shape. And um, do your do your does the rest of your team know? Is everybody trying to? Are you just keeping it hush hush from everybody? The only person. So I was I tried to walk as normal as possible. Obviously. Yeah. Um. Uh, the day before so i was trying to just walk normal but i think i was walking with uh dax maybe it was either cash or dax i was walking with and they called me out they're like you bumped in a little bit i was like oh shit <laughs> i was like uh i was like yeah i was like i just pulled something you know a little bit in my in my calf you know in my leg i'm like i'm all good though i'm all good so no <laughs> Nobody, wow. like nobody really, really wow. knew wow. Um, until, until after. Um, so I put like some KT tape on, you know, to try to cover it up. And the funny thing is my action figure from, I'm pointing because. You have it over he, there? Yeah. He's staring at me on top of the fridge over there. <laughs> um, I love that figure so much. I. Uh, it actually has my KT tape on it, oh, wow. which I think is hysterical. That's awesome. Uh, um, and it also has the wrist tape because Tolly Blanchard taped my wrist before I went huh. in. Really? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, great attention to detail on this. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Jazzwares. Yeah, man. Um, but uh, so the great thing is the adrenaline from a match of any kind mm-hmm. um, is, is extremely, extremely powerful. And you truly don't know how powerful until you've been in a ring in front mm-hmm. of a live crowd. So you add the fact that it is two rings, a giant cage, <laughs> blood and guts. Just keeps getting amped uh, up. Dude, I truly, I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it the whole match. Uh, the only wow. time I did feel it was when fucking Hager jumped his big ass on me. <laughs> and uh, I tried to pick him up, and he just fucking toppled on it's me. It's a big and boy, my, dude. <clears throat> he is a big boy, and my leg gave out. But I didn't mm-hmm. give up, and I stood up with his big ass, and I still fucking tossed him. <clears throat> or either I tossed him and got hit, or I went to toss him. And then, yeah, I think I tossed him. Then I got hit by a steel chair. As you can see, the steel chair. <laughs> Still got a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, criminy. Yeah, Sammy, oh, I believe. Sammy Guevara, I think it was. Just is that, absolutely is that, blasting me in the head, face or in the head with a chair. Is that like the, I mean, is that the worst injury you've dealt with? Uh, and, and you just also mentioned like the stakes of that match. Do you feel like that match stands out? At, like, what is the match to you so far that stands out? Um, hold on. So I was just trying to think. You mentioned Hager. And I was like, wait, you were in the octagon. Yeah. You blood and guts. Yeah. You've been in the ladder match. You've been in Cody. the first steel cage match. Like <laughs> these are accolades so, that are in AW history. He's had a lot of big matches, man. So yeah. hold on, hold on. But it's still with the injuries. So yeah. speaking of the cage match, I did that with a torn shoulder. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, I mean, like, okay, I'm not going to say, like, if I have a fully blown out shoulder, but, like, I had a, a micro tear in the sure. front and a micro tear in the back of my shoulder. And, but that was fresh at that time. Um, but also, 
the you gotta catch match. Cody. You have to catch Cody off the the moon salt off the off the cage. You have to catch him with a partially torn shoulder. No, the the cage fight with Hager. My bad. Oh, oh Hager. Okay. One. All right. Got, got it. Got it. That, okay. that, that As if was that's the easier. Deal. Okay. That <laughs> was the shoulder deal. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, but the ladder match at Revolution. Yeah. After that match, uh, that night, like my knee was just killing me. Hmm. That that night. So that was one of the that was the best moment of my life that night. Winning that ladder match. Holy shit. Holy shit. Winning that ladder match. Standing up there with that ring and, and the reaction from that crowd, especially mm-hmm. after murdering Ricky Starks, because <laughs> it was supposed to be I power bomb him, the place goes wild, grab the thing. They go even more wild, but instead it was power bomb. Place goes fucking silent because I just murdered them. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was yeah, like, "Well, that was pretty brutal you. on the ladder." Yeah. <laughs> and as soon as I did that, the place came fucking back up. Thank God. And then I grabbed the thing, and uh, it was all good. But then later, even sweeter, even 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 sweeter of a moment which is mind-blowing that there was a moment that over <laughs> that. that moment in the same night yeah it was when i set that ring down and gave that nod and turned around and walked away the eruption from the crowd as i turned around and walked up that ramp was oh man. and you can and it's actually funny you can see it in my walk <laughs> in my strut back up the, <laughs> the how, you, how you were feeling i was oh i was really feeling you're feeling man. yourself a little bit yeah you got a little bit <laughs> but, oh man the, the 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 eruption from that crowd that is the best feeling in the whole world dude it really is hands down of, there's nothing yeah. nothing in the world that can compare 